country in the world that has allowed commercial growing of, of a genetically modified staple food. As we know, um, the majority of people eat pup, um, eat maize in different forms. It's a staple food that many poor people rely on and they eat it every day, often for more than one meal. And there's very little choice um, for those people to have non-genetically modified maize because 86% of our maize is now genetically modified. <laughs> Monsanto is one of those organizations you hear a lot about, along with Syngenta. This is a mafia genetically modified organism organization. This is what they do. They go around to every country stealing the seed of the people. So all of the seeds in the world now belong to Monsanto. He, who, he or she or it that controls the seed supply, controls the food supply and therefore controls the future and the power of the people. Starvation is coming along with a whole lot of other things that are coming towards us as citizens in every country, not just in South Africa. Like I said, Monsanto is everywhere. It's that Goliath that's everywhere. So apart from the fact that it steals the food, it injects poisons, pesticides, herbicides like Roundup, which is one of those that's actually killing people into these seeds and into these organisms. They know what they're doing and they're making you sick. In South Africa, one of the staple foods in our country is maize. That is how they're getting poison into the majority of the people in the country. The herbicides, the pesticides it's inside, some of those brands are, are launched by Tiger Brands. Uh, Ace Maize Meal is one of those brands that's poisoning people. If you want to know why there's so much of cancer, there's autism, there's obesity, there are direct links and evidence, it's not conspiracy theories, it's scientists and activists who will prove to you that the reason you're getting sick is because of this food terrorism. This is what it's doing. So what we need to do as society is to understand our power and to fight back against these corporations that control the politicians. It's not politicians that run the country. It's these elite in these companies, whether it's Monsanto or it's banking or it's oil or it's arms or it's pharmaceuticals or it's you know diamonds, blood diamonds, weapons. Wars are controlled by the, by the elite. Food poisoning is controlled by the elite. The real apartheid is economic. It's the 1%. And it's the rest of us, which is why around the world you're seeing revolution. The big name is Monsanto, and they're being accused and in some places being indicted and convicted of killing insects, of, of destroying farmers' lives, particularly in India. It's all researchable and, and it's there. And they're doing it basically because control of the food supply is control of the people. If, if, you, if, if, the, if, the, if the supermarkets run dry, that's it. What are you going to do? You're going to go bat shit. You're really going to be in trouble. But Monsanto is going very much, I think, too far in the sense that they're genetically altering, genetically modifying the building blocks of, 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 of the cellular structure of plants. Now, if you, if you alter a plant so that it secretes a pesticide and or an insecticide, a bee is an insect and that will kill the bee too. Maybe they didn't think of it. And this is the problem. GMO foods were eating them. They have not tested them properly. How long does it take to test a GMO food? It's got to be one generation of, of human beings. It's got to be 25 or 35 years, a whole early lifetime, before you actually know. So they're turning them loose on the planet now without the testing. In the lab, and this again you can look up, in the lab with rats and so on, those rats are getting cancers five times quicker and more of them than the control groups. Again, it's Google it, look it up, it's there. You just have to be a little curious. Experimenting at this level and then turning it loose on people I think is unethical for starters. And when, and not if, but when, people start coming down with stuff like the rats in the lab are, there's going to be some serious repercussion. But what can we do about it? What we can do about it is grow our own food. It's very simple. Phrase, and I'm sure you'll get off the grid. Get off the grid. Start standing on your own two feet with your community. 
everybody coming to the party and suddenly you're free, you're sovereign, your own person. Si paramisa is squashy so bullying kulumesi and zayo. Ugu tiku segu kona izimbe ezincha ezakiwe onga sezo na zemvelo. Zakiwe also science. Beza kanje gente la yabo yo 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 kwepeshe babo. Bese bebo na beza kazi kule nga para tentlin. Bese bebo nse zinga puma ge manje zioli nywa emnya. Zimbe uge mawibu uga la uzbege pamu wako. Azitugi ile nembe u ozazi yowe. Nga goge unga shukuti gizo ibona ganja ngegu ibon. Ya fana nezi nye mbe u. Zine zinto para ati ezinge wana impilo kumutu. Kufawa izinto ez ningi. Kufawa izinto ongege wena wangabe uzakela ugutla wako uzfage para ati lezi. Kushu kutika kufanele, si umparati, si wazu kuti, logu, si kapele, si bambisane. Hai minangetwa, stonke emparatini. Unga ichali lembe, wabizu wangali si mbe uzame. Izu wangali si mbe uzo umparatu wongi, stine stonke sa sinasena zi mbe uze mfele. Uguti, bafiga bantu bezo funo mklaba, uguti bazo ulima, bazo sinigezi male ngaga, sizo tola logu tine mvawa logo, mvawa logu mklaba wa mso onagele, angsawa zugu seven zi success. But there's problems with... Um... In terms of health for the people that eat GM food, and more and more scientists are discovering quite serious problems with health that the industry doesn't want people to know. But there are also serious consequences for farmers um, because these big corporations that sell GMOs have been buying up seed companies around the world. So when they discovered that they could create this product that could be patented and that they could then charge for and charge farmers for every year, they then saw the benefit of buying up seed companies. And so, for example, even in South Africa, um, just two companies own 90% of all our agricultural seeds. And um, that, those two companies are a company called Monsanto and one um, called Pioneer, which is merged with another big um, chemical company, DuPont. And by buying up seed companies and giving people GM seeds, the local farmer varieties of seeds that were developed are being lost. And those farmer varieties are very important because, for example, if you live in the Eastern Cape, um, it can be very cold at times, very hot at times, and it's very humid. So people's maize varieties um, that they've grown and developed and, and shared from Gogo to, to daughter and on and on through the, the family, those maize seeds have been adapted over time to grow specifically in that environment. The big companies, because they want to make money, they don't allow you, once you buy the GM seeds from, from them, you're not allowed to keep them and replant them the next year without paying them the patent fee. So if you do that, it's illegal and they're going to um, want you to pay every year. And often also the, the GM seeds that you get aren't the kinds of seeds that will grow properly again the next year. They're often hybrid seeds that don't grow well if you save them and replant them. The same company that is doing the genetic modifi modification and patenting the seeds that have the herbicide tolerance in are also selling the farmer the herbicide that they would spray. And we've been on this planet for 50 million years. So have these guys. The food we eat has evolved with us. It's part of our cellular structure, our genetic structure. When you eat raw food, you're processing something that has, in medical terms, it's called a receptor site. It's mitochondrial absorption. And it works. And the basic fundamental needs of life, food, air, water, and food is, is becoming more and more important. Monsanto is putting away seeds, they're growing genetically modified seeds. Those seeds, first of all, they don't reproduce. Those are called suicide seeds. You grow the crops, people eat them, and the seeds won't. So you have to go back to Monsanto to buy more seeds. It's control, which is pretty much what the planet's about, the ruling elite, whatever you want to call it. Control of the granary, control of the food, is control of the people. All the fruit and vegetables, all the food we eat, we've cultivated less than 2% of the edible plants on the planet. The biosphere, you've heard of the biosphere? That's everything alive is part and parcel of the same 
organic whole, the yeah. biosphere. It's yeah. on a planet called Earth, yeah. which is a closed ecosystem. And the, the, all the oxygen that was ever here is still here. It gets recycled. It's a closed system. The only thing that comes in is a little bit of meteor dust and sunlight. Let's in the Oge, but he's a lunar rashe, lava also signs of a stilla, but he's a lunar rashe, we're young in Dow, and she saw an evandai, Ganjalo Zinus of Vuno Essil. But in Pitilizzi, a much genetical modified organisms, a my about a much genetical engineered crops. In English, the Bills and Kamra, a lame leader, La Pogne, Capane, Gulucon. The temple of the chicken is a little bit of 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 with regards to Monsanto, the other thing you have to note and understand just how thuggish it makes those organizations and organizations like it. In every country around the world, they're using their economic muscle, they're buying the land of the farmers, they, they take over this land, they destroy that land. You cannot grow anything on it afterwards. So it's taking more land away from us that are able to generate our own food, which we can and should be doing. One home, one garden, that's the way to go. It's not just that you're being poisoned, it's that you have no consent over what is in your water and what is in your food. Now, Monsanto's impact in South Africa, and like other countries around the world, is massive. Again, not only are they controlling the seeds and the policies of government, for example, in the US, Barack Hussein Obama, the imperial warmonger spy, has signed a bill into place. He has. <laughs> make me laugh. But he has. He signed a bill into place that means nobody can sue Monsanto. Here's a president of the land of the free and the brave who was here in South Africa and when Soweto protesters were protesting against him, they were attacked. So what does it tell you? All presidents, at least those that are clearly capitalist, elitist and psychotic, are under or in the pockets of these organizations like Monsanto. It, now you've got to ask yourself, what kind of a government allows its people to be poisoned Biowatch is a, an environmental justice organization and we've done a lot of work around GM crops, genetically modified crops. And what I'm going to speak about now is a seven year court case that Biowatch was involved in. Uh, our story is actually it's told in this book, A Landmark Victory for Justice. It's by two of Biowatch's founder trustees, Rachel Weinberg and David Fick. And Tills documents the story and also the lessons learnt. And it's really important for us to put this down on paper for other civil society organisations and members of the public to learn about Monsanto. And we try to get information from the Department of Agriculture and without success or very limited success. And this resulted us in us in 2002 taking the department to court over access to information. We were acting in the public interest, we didn't, there wasn't information on GM crops available and of course one can't narrow one's questions if you don't know what, what isn't in the public domain. And fortunately for us we were able to take the case right up to the Constitutional Court. And we were lucky in that we had the support of the Legal Resource Centre, the LRC, who, took, who supported Biowatch through this process. At the Constitutional Court um, the case was heard, Monsanto was there, the Department of Agriculture was there, and Biowatch was there. And, but Biowatch, of course, more was at stake. It wasn't only our, own, our financial um, situation, but there were bigger issues around access to information, around orders of costs and crippling of civil society organisations. And the judgment was resoundingly in our favour. All the judge, There was unanimous judgment saying that Biowatch had acted in the public interest that we shouldn't pay um, Monsanto's legal costs. The order was that the department should pay Biowatch's legal costs. I think we have to take governments and these corporations to court and we have to fleece them for the millions and the billions they're making of our suffering. 
Because one thing you don't know is that Agent Orange, for example, which is a notorious poison, is actually being injected into this food that we're actually eating. If you think your government loves you and would never do this to you, you need to come and meet with people like us who are going to show you what the reality of the situation really is. Unless you stand up together, we as the poor who have no choice are being destroyed. And unless you wake up and do something, there's no solution. There's going to be no solution without the people. The voting is a waste of time. We have to attack these corporations that will do anything to gain a profit. Whether it's Walmart, whether it's Monsanto, as South Africans, we have a legacy of standing up for what is right. Not because we belong to a political party, but because we believe in doing what is right.